When a patient with celiac artery compression syndrome breathes in, what happens to the common hepatic artery blood flow in relation to the celiac trunk? And what happens to the splenic artery blood flow when the patient breathes out in relation to the celiac trunk? A, the common hepatic artery blood flow increases while the splenic artery blood flow increases. B, the common hepatic artery blood flow decreases while the splenic artery blood flow increases. C, the common hepatic artery blood flow increases while the splenic artery blood flow decreases. Or is it D, the common hepatic artery blood flow decreases while the splenic artery blood flow decreases? Celiac artery compression syndrome occurs when the median arcuate ligament compresses the celiac artery during expiration. When the patient breathes in, that median arcuate ligament will decompress the celiac artery, allowing blood flow to flow through more easily. To answer the first part of this question, when the patient breathes in, that ligament will decompress the celiac artery, allowing blood flow to increase in the common hepatic artery. And already we can rule out two options, B and D, because we know that the blood flow increases. So the answer is either going to be A or C. Now the second half of this question is blood flow will decrease distal to the stenosis during expiration. So now we can rule out the last option and that leaves us with the correct answer. So the common hepatic blood flow will increase during inspiration and the splenic artery will decrease in blood flow during expiration. So the choice is C.